ladies and gentlemen, we found a special guest, Jer Goss, CEO of Goss RV. How you doing today, sir? Great, great. It's great to be here. An honor to be visiting your facility here in Atlanta today. Now, I've got a lot of questions I want to ask you, but your family has a great reputation in the high-end motor coach industry. How did Goss RV start? We actually started the business 21 years ago, but really, honestly, our story started well before that. When I was a kid, we actually traveled this way as a family. So my father, who started the business, he's the founder of our business. He's had multiple RVs in his lifetime, and so we used to actually travel around the country in these motor coaches. So that's kind of where it started. We have visited all over the country, creating some amazing experiences as a result of that. And so when we started the business, Business, that was very much part of what we wanted to do. We wanted to provide an opportunity for other people to have these same type of experiences. Nobody else that I'm aware of is doing what your family has done. So what was it being the first to do the high level motor coach rentals? How did you guys get your start? And what did the beginning look like? The beginning started with the motor coach that we owned. With that one first, we rented that one out. We, you know, we were the first movers in the industry before we existed. If you wanted to have an experience in a motor coach like this, you had to buy one. We provided an opportunity for people to rent experience the vehicle honestly once we started renting it out here locally in the Atlanta area it just took off from there now we have facilities across the entire country we have the largest fleet of these luxury motor coaches in the country probably half of our vehicles are Prevo units so it just kind of took off once we started renting it out from the very beginning now your career with Goss your dad mm -hmm. was the founder yes when did you get involved with the company so when my dad started the business originally it was very much a family joint effort. I was in high school and so I was the guy that uh, were cleaning these things actually. I'd get on the roof and clean the roof. Most of them had carpet so I'd put carpet tape in them. So I went through college and I graduated and then I just plugged in honestly after after college in a more full-time capacity. Very quickly my father kind of handed me the keys to the to the business. Gave me a lot of leadership opportunities and I've been in the role of CEO for the last five years officially and probably eight practically been doing this for for a little while now i can really appreciate that and i'm sure there was a lot of a hard work that went into building this business to get to where it is so now in, in 2023 the rv industry has had a wild ride over the last few years what's the current state of the company and what does the future of the company look like we've been very blessed to have kind of grown with everything that's happened over the last few years. We're in a position where our, our bread and butter is the rental side of the business, but as a result of that, we've also gotten into the sales side of the business. We sell primarily these Prevos, and quite frankly, we specialize in the, the bunk model Prevos. That's a very hot feature in our rental program as well. We have travel concierge team, so we've got a whole suite of services that we offer that saying that a rising tide lifts all ships. That is very much what happened to us during COVID, which I think it did around the country. And so for the last several years, it's been just adapting. And you know, we saw our vacation business just absolutely boom. This was the way to travel. We saw other areas of our business completely fall off. For example, the events business. And so it's just adapting to that. And then now, as you fast forward over the years, we're starting to see more B2B stuff come back, more event stuff come back. It's been really cool to be part of this industry, but it's definitely kept us on our toes. We've had to adapt throughout. Over those 21 years in this family business, I bet you have some great stories is there any hmm. stories running these luxury motor coaches that come to mind that you can share with the folks on YouTube? Probably cannot mention names, but it always surprises me when, especially back in the day, you know, let's say 15 years ago, we would get a phone call and used to have caller ID at that time. And the amount of celebrities that would call us and it would have their name on the caller ID, you used to think it was a prank and you'd pick up the phone and sure enough, you're talking to that person and it's their trip and their vacation and they want to be the one planning it. So you end up having conversations and creating relationships with celebrities and professional athletes. You never take that stuff for granted. It's kind of a cool side of the business. Another thing that comes to mind is we had an event. It was a tailgate event for an Alabama football game. And we had a very wealthy individual that rented the RV. He had a big party in the, you know, had a lot of people come in to the RV. Lo and behold, two MVPs of the NBA walked into the RV, unbeknownst to us. I won't say their name but our driver 
never watched NBA, doesn't really follow sports at all. All he saw was an entourage come in. And then later after they kind of left, he asked who they were because he could tell they were someone special and ended up being two MVP. If I said their names, you guys would know them for sure. But they had spent the time in the RV. So it's just cool, but the kind of stuff, sometimes we don't rent to them directly, but they are participating. So we have a lot of stories like that. I'm trying to get some names out of these guys, but you guys have tight lips around here. And I'm sure all of your celebrity clients respect that we're not dropping their names right now, but you folks can imagine some of those names. And we're seeing a lot of marathon coaches here. Yes. Is there a reason why Goss chooses to have so many marathon coaches in your fleet? We do have a special partnership with Marathon, but we also rent non-Prevo units. We rent Newell's. We have a lot of different types of vehicles, but uh, we've worked with Marathon for well over a decade and a half. And one of the things that has been really helpful with the marathons specifically, they have a layout that allows for the bunk beds to be installed. And so originally, you know, in 03, 04, 05, we started installing bunk beds into their closet space. Yeah, with the, with the big walk-in yes, closet. Yes, and, in the and of the I'm coach. sure you've probably seen several of the ones that we've actually helped design. And so originally it was just easier to get bunks in that. And that's the number one feature for us when we're renting out these vehicles. And you fast forward to, to now, and we've actually purchased brand new builds and designed them with the bunk beds in there. We've kind of had a special relationship probably mainly because of that main feature right there. So you have a lot of experience in dealing with these coaches. I'm trying to share as much information for the viewers as possible. Now, do you have any advice for someone that would be thinking about putting their coach in the Goss fleet? First of all, there's some misconceptions around potentially renting out a vehicle like you would maybe renting out your house. The RVs that we have in our fleet, number one, you can tell they're very well maintained. We do a very good job vetting the people that come into these vehicles. It's very expensive to rent one of these, so that clientele is very uh, high net worth individuals typically. And then another misconception that people have, they think that we're going to rag the RV out and that there's going to be a lot of miles put on these vehicles. And the reality is we actually try to minimize the number of rentals that we have in the vehicle while maximizing the revenue. So on a high end, most of our vehicles would rent maybe 10 to 15 times a year, and that's it. And several of those are at sitting still events where they're not putting any miles on them. A lot of times either sitting in driveways, people have taken their trips and they take four or five trips a year and the rest of the time it sits in a driveway. So this becomes a really good viable solution for them to make revenue instead of it just sitting there. Yeah, and I don't think we've seen any coaches with over 100,000 miles in your fleet. Mm -hmm. Every one of these coaches is spotless. Like I've been in different RVs that have been just totally throttled out. We've been in like at least, I don't know, a half dozen plus coaches today. I'm not seeing any unusual wear and tear. If I have to tip my hat to you and the team, you guys really are caring for for these coaches. Not only are these coaches spotless, but I've got to compliment your staff here. Everybody that I've met here at Goss has been very sharp. You've got a great team here. Is there a certain formula that you use to find your team members? You know, I think that's something that we're actually very passionate about too. I alluded to this earlier with our story that we created memories and experiences as a family traveling in these vehicles. So one of the things we wanted to do is allow other people to have those experiences for our clients, but we also said, I mean, what would it look like to actually have our team have some really cool experiences? And so we definitely set up our vision statement is to create unforgettable experiences. And that goes to our team too. We want to have the best team meetings that we possibly can have. We want them to be able to travel in some of these vehicles as a vacation. So our culture matters to us and who we are matters to us. And one of the things, our purpose, kind of our heartbeat of who we are as an organization is to create life-changing impact. It might be silly to say that. That might seem very lofty. Uh, but even in a small way, even if we can just put a smile on someone's face, uh, ask someone how they're doing, we can have a small impact maybe in someone's life. And so we do that with our team and we do that with our clients and we hope that that is contagious. So it's very much baked into kind of who we are and I think people are attracted to that. I definitely appreciate that because priceless memories are made in these coaches and you cannot put a price tag on that. If someone owns a coach, a high level coach, late model mm -hmm. like this, or a qualified prospect wants to rent a coach like this, what's the best steps for them to take? The easiest thing is to call us. I mean, we would absolutely love to help you. So pick up the phone and call us. We've got 
a, a dedicated team, whether you own a coach and you're considering the program and you want to know more about that, we'd be happy to have a conversation with you. If you're considering renting one of these, we have an amazing team that can help plan these trips really from A to Z and fit you into the right motor coach based on your needs specific, whether that's a vacation for a family or it's a tailgating event. We've got a team dedicated to help you find the best coach for your needs. We are particular about the vehicles that we allow into our fleets. If you have a production motor coach that is three years or newer, if you have a Prevo or Newell that's 10 years or newer, those are perfect candidates for our program. Really awesome to see you know what you and your family have done and your team have done here at Goss RV. You're really providing an incredible service to the industry. Greatly appreciate you guys showing us around today. We also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.